Wah. Welcome to Chasing Bubby Dick. It's hot. It's 98 degrees. It's dangerous to be out here, y'all. I'm way off in the bush, a long ways from nowhere. But I'm on an amazing fishing spot. And what we have, guys, here is a shallow section up this way. And then right here, there's a deep hole. But right here in front of my shore, it gets down to like 22 feet. Easily the deepest that I've found. And the best part is that Eddie's around. And there's wood over there, and there's wood on this shore right here, all this piled up wood. Well, it's actually down there too, a dream come true kind of spot, but the weather's killing us. So I'm gonna hydrate and go take care of my body in the shade, put on long sleeves, so that way I can endure these conditions, man. They're, they're tough. Went ahead and made the call, me and Lily. Uh, we, we're gonna be smart. We came across the river, frozen bottle of water, partially thawed and some soup which we're gonna drink from the can i need to hydrate and eat it's kind of a hard life out here on the river but uh it's a lot of fun i don't know how much fun it is you know in the moment catching fish is fun seeing new places is fun never been here before but uh heck i don't know some parts about it are rough okay first bait pretty nice size bluegill nice big bull bluegill right there a small green sunfish last bait going out left nice size bluegill Fish on. Yeah. It's mean, whatever it is, real mean. I don't think it's very big, but it is mean. Wow. I guess it's, oh Lord have mercy. Okay. My guess is a blue cat, Lily. <laughs> oh, she's like, man, I'm about to get this fish. Okay guys, cool deal. I think camera says I've been here 27 minutes. I got a friend who I'm gonna um, bring some fish. I told him I would if I can find my stringer. So I'm gonna quickly see if I have that and then uh, either get this fish back or get him in the stringer. It's hot outside, I can't find my stringer. I think it fell out of my backpack. You know, he gave it to me to keep some fish on, but um, I'll make it up to him. I'm not this fish though because it's just hot, hot, hot outside. He'll come back though in a second. Days like this when it's this hot, I mean, you'll be, oh. Here we go. Even a catfish won't last long in 98 degree heat. So we'll give him some time. There he goes. Lily, what do you what do you think about that? You wanna go chase him? Okay, something attacked this and now it's uh Going flat. I'm gonna make sure I keep the line tight here. Okay. 
What in the world? Wow. I think I got it hung up after the gar spit it. And then my breakaway popped free. That was uh, slightly embarrassing. <laughs> well, we're now waiting on a bike. It's just a beautiful, beautiful evening out here. Except for the bugs. But man, it feels good. That'll be a fish on, right? Yeah. Gotta be a fish on. I was eating some peanuts. is really small whatever it is I think it's probably a blue cat um, could be a channel cat but I've never caught a channel from this river okay y'all second fish of the day nothing much he's calm thankfully he's got a uh, bluegill in his mouth there anyways he will freak out in just a second I'm gonna go ahead and let him go Second fish of the day. That's awesome. Lily, how are you? You are muddy. Right now, it's foot washing time. So you get a bucket of water, you stick your muddy foot and legs, and you wash off. Man, it sucks, but it's better than going to bed later with crap all over your feet. I think I live pretty rough out here and you know there's no avoiding the mud you know it's already enough work to get out here it's a hell of a lot of work to avoid the mud but you become one. All right, y'all, we're going for our last monster bait of the night. Yep, right there. All right, y'all, what we have here is a special bait. Wow. Easy there, fella. We got a flathead catfish. And we're going to try to use him to catch another flathead. This is legal. Speak of the devil, y'all. Throw one bait in the water. One that hasn't got hit in hours got hit. My 12 footer right here. Getting bumped for the first time all night. Getting bumped pretty good too. Oh, went flat. Uh oh. Gonna have a fish on, y'all. Yep. Fish on for sure. Oh, feels big. This does feel bigger. Walking down the shoreline, y'all. It's a, what is that, flathead? 12 foot rod, it's hard to say. Good lord. It feels stronger than it can be. 
goodness. I will admit, I'm trying to do this without getting muddy. There we go. Pretty solid fish, guys. Anywhere you look at it. Um, really strong fighter, so that was awesome. Still hoping for his grandmother. But uh, that's a fun fish. I'm going to go put him back. Yeah. Good night, guys. I do have um, four rods out, and I hope to be awoken with a giant. And I feel like I will. Okay, guys. It's 5 a.m. This may be the slowest night of summertime fishing that I've ever seen in my life. So I am convinced that all my baits are still alive out there. But I haven't got a hit since 11 last night. All right, y'all, everything was hung up bait-wise except for the flathead, so he's still out there. But we're gonna go ahead and put this bait off right. This is a Whopper Sunfish right here. Really, really nice. Got a big one. That right there, guys, that's a hand-sized bluegill. Beautiful bait. Okay, last bait, but not least, is a uh, smaller bluegill. Gotta have some variety, you know? Some big ones, we've got three pretty big ones, and uh, a small one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, guys, I was baiting up that other rod. This bent over and peel drag. Good Lord. It's swimming towards me now. What in the world? Okay, this is gonna be a big one. And I know it's got my other line. What in the world, man? That was a hit. It's gonna be something pretty good. I hit like a blue cat. That's what I think this is, too. Wow. Stay out of those sticks, buddy. Goodness gracious. Man, that was from zero to 100. It's a nice blue cat from what I can tell. But I'm way up here, so. I'm gonna go down and get real muddy to get this guy. If I could ever get this thing in the net. There we go. That's a big old blue. Big blue cat. Ooh. Good morning. All right, y'all. That's a big blue cat. Totally thrilled to catch it. I woke up, you know, no bites all night long. It's because all my baits were hung or one of them was that small flathead that hadn't been eaten yet. So, I've been out here, I guess I had baits in the water maybe 10 minutes and this guy hit, so what an awesome thrill. The only thing I don't like about blue cats is their release. Um, he's going to tear my hand up when I release him, but that's part of it, man. I love these fish. That's awesome. Hot summer nights, baby. Anyways, I'm going to let him go. Here's the part of blue cap fishing that I absolutely hate is the release. 
what this fish is about to do to my hand. Which is not a good way to release them. But to do this. Okay. Now if he stays calm, I won't drop him. Okay. So far so good, Mr. Blue. Okay. He didn't bite me. Oh, he's mad. There he goes. He's gone, y'all. Alright guys, thanks for watching today's episode of Chasing Moby Dick. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. That helps keep the channel going. Um, this was an awesome trip, the first day. Uh, you guys stay tuned for the next video because it's the second day of this trip. And uh, it's pretty good. So, anyways guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.